Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hand and today we're going to have a look at the brand new, just released uh, Z20, uh, Z23? Z35, the tier 6 premium uh, destroyer uh, which has just been released and in all fairness it's not a bad looking ship looks awfully similar to the uh, mass and the z39 which are all technically well they're not the, they're all slightly different classes of ship uh, this is a 1936b whereas i believe the mass is a 1936 so this is a slightly different model uh, and the 39 is also a slightly different one anyway it doesn't matter they're all they're all much much the same or at least on the outside they would appear to be so let's have a quick look at um why well, actually let's look at the commander build first the commander build just to confirm this is my standard german destroyer commander build i'm not a big destroyer player so i haven't specced massively uh into upgrading destroyers so there's possibly better builds out there but i tend to find this one seems to work but you know i, I do okay I do I do all right in destroyers, but I just don't play them enough to warrant pumping any more uh, <laughs> any more uh, promotion orders or uh, or commendations into them. Uh, so inspirations Jezza Swirsky to reduce my detectability range. I've got Arlie Burke to increase the uh, shell grouping of the destroyer's main guns because you know the Germans are very much uh, a jack of all trades. They're not a DD. Uh, they're not a torpedo DD. They're not a uh, a gunboat. They kind of they kind of sit in the the grey area in the middle. Uh, so I take observant rage to improve my reload time and increase my tor uh, a torpedo detectability range. Uh, other options are increase your uh, your speed with contact is imminent, uh, or go for all our air defence. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, we also have Look at Me Now for C detectability range again. Um, there is Mortar if you want to go more gunboat focused, which will give you a bit more damage but increase your detectability. Uh, or Listen Closely, which gives you an additional two sonar charges and reduces the reload time by 50%, but also chops your sonar in half as well. Uh, I use Twist and Track because not only does it increase the traverse speed of my guns, uh, but it also lets me know general location of the nearest ship. Uh, reaching, uh, you could go for reaching out, um, but yeah, it's not really worth it. Or slightly faster reload of your torpedoes. Again, not something I'd go for. You have smoke on the water. Uh, smoke screen dispersion time and deployment time are increased by 4%. And... Um, you can pick bowed me. Sorry, I had a bit of a fit with my <laughs> controller there. There is also cloudy days, which reduces the engine boost consumable reload at the cost of diminishing smoke screen generator capabilities. Um, there is, I obviously, I run unstoppable, uh, which basically prevents your engine from being completely disabled uh, or your rudder, so it allows you to move even when you've taken some damage, which Trust me, you don't run unstoppable on all of your DD builds. Uh, switch and you will the, the, your survivability will will drastically go up. Uh, you can take Leviathan, which increases the maximum hit points of your ship, but slows it down. And honestly, uh, I don't think it's worth it. The passive effect is engine repair time as well for unstoppable, whereas um, it is. Uh, a, a decrease in rudder shift time for Leviathan. But if your rudder gets knocked out, it's no good anyway. <laughs> right, okay. So, oh, no. Right, I'm just having one of those days. I can't press the right buttons. Uh, so, let's have a look at the overview. So, overview. So, first off, it's tough. Uh, above average base HP. Uh, it has extended sonar range and... Uh, sonar range and duration but inferior HE shell damage. Uh, so the lead ship in the 1936B destroyers built during World War II under the project that was modified to incorporate combat experience and operational capability of the ships from its predecessors. 
Uh, these ships carried reinforced AA battery and 128mm guns. Right, okay, so let's look at the stats. So, 19,000 uh, and 100 hit points. Okay, so it's got two counterparts, the Z39 and the Mass. The Mass sits in at 17,500 hit points, uh, so 1,600 hit points less. Uh, but the Z39 actually has 19,600 uh, so it's not quite as it uh, hasn't quite got the hit points of the Z39, um, but it does, however, uh, have a, a considerable amount more than a mass. You can you can take an extra salvo quite happily. Uh, artillery. So we have the 528 millimeter guns, uh, exactly the same on the mass. Although this does actually have a slightly faster reload at 3.5 compared to 3. 0.7 uh, maximum HE shell damage of 1500 and 3000 for AP. Okay, so uh, what does this mean? Well, don't worry, Hive's gone and done all the maths for you. So, in a minute, the Z35 can fire 7 salvos, the Mass can fire 16 salvos, and the Z39 with its big 150mm guns can only fire 8 complete salvos uh, in one minute. So that quickly translates into uh, our uh, damage per minute. So, okay, so when I say damage per minute here, this is the absolute maximum possible of 100% full penetrations, you know, because it doesn't matter <laughs> it does matter if you if you get over pens and you're only doing 10 percent it's it's going to have the same effect across the board so these numbers are going to sound berserk but you've just got to take that into account so if in a minute everything you fire is a full pen then these are the damage numbers you can expect so the z35 rocks in with a maximum he shell damage per minute of uh, 127,500 whereas the mass is 120,000, so it is, uh, uh, it is 7,500 uh, more damage per minute for the Z35. The Z39, with its big 150 mil uh, guns, walks in at 70,400. So, yeah, it kind of sucks in, in, the, gun, in the gun department there. Uh, for uh, for armor piercing, it is uh, 255,000 for the 35. The 39 comes in at, at a measly uh, 118,400 and 192,000 for the uh, for the mass. So gun wise, uh, just to confirm as well, they all have 100 uh, the 180 degree turn time of 16.8 seconds uh, so there's no difference uh, whatsoever there there might be some slight differences with the gun angles uh, the, the Z39 gun angles are absolutely awful so uh, um, so to round that up the Z35 has the better guns it has marginally better guns and that's partly due to that 0.2 well it's wholly due to 3.5 instead of the 3.7 second uh, reload time. So with the extra health, you can comfortably take on a mass as well. Uh, torpedoes, uh, they all have eight torpedoes. They all run the exact same uh, 55 millimeter Verling launchers, which have two times four salvos. Uh, they all have a 90 second reload. So there is some slight differences. So the Z35 does come in with a 1,000, with 13,000, 700 maximum damage per torpedo and uh, the other two the z39 and the mass have 14,400 uh, but the uh, the z35 does have an extra 0.5 kilometer range taken up to nine whereas the other two are at 8.5 and they all share the exact same speed now in the description it did say buffed AA defense, didn't it? <laughs> am I am I am I wrong? Did I not see Yeah, these ships carry a reinforced AA battery. Why okay. So let's have a look at this reinforced AA battery because carriers are a thing, so this actually matters now. 
So, what I've done, so nobody else has to, I have totaled up the AA defence. Alright, I've kind of ignored the ranges, and that does make a difference, but just to give you an overview of it all, the AA damage per second for the Z35 is 67. To put this into perspective, the mass has 65. Two damage per second better than uh, than the, the previous model of the boat. But this is where the Z39 kind of kind of gets to shine a little bit at 81. So it does have a, a nice a nice well a, a significant improvement over the other two. But these are these are not anti-air boats by uh, by any means any means. So I think that's pretty much something that we can ignore. So we'll head on down to the maneuverability. So in all fairness, they're all pretty much the same uh, in the, the maneuverability uh, uh, category. So the Z35 uh, does 35, uh, 36 and a half knots. The Z39 is 36 and the mass is 37. So they're all within a knot of each other. Uh, rudder shift time though, uh, on the mass is slightly better, a 4.6. As you can see here, we've got 4.8 for the 35. And it's up to 5 seconds for the uh, the Z39. Uh, concealment. Uh, the Z39 uh, 39 and the mass both have 5. But the Z35 just pips them uh, marginally. Uh, I don't know why, but it does, and <laughs> it's got 4.9 uh, kilometer detectability, uh, 4.9 detectability range by sea. Um, so it's a slight improvement there, but let's be honest, it's negligible. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little bit interesting uh, when we go to the consumables. So they have two smoke generators lasting 71.8 seconds which is exactly the same for the z39 uh, but the mass however only has a 67.6 seconds smoke duration time so you get an extra what's that four seconds <laughs> uh yeah four four seconds an extra four seconds of smoke uh there is also a big difference with the sonar consumable so the sonar uh, on the Z35, and it happens to be exactly the same for the Z39, has a 3.5km detection range for torpedoes, 5 for ships with a consumable duration of 100 seconds, where the mass gets the older inferior sonar, where it only detects torpedoes from, from, from 3 kilometers and 4.2 for ships, and also only lasts 90 four seconds the six seconds shorter uh, but it is worth noting that the z35 does not have a speed boost at all uh, whereas both the uh, the 39 and the mass have an eight percent speed boost consumable available to them as well so uh to sum it up so okay it's got more health than the mass it's got better dpm than the mass it's got better sonar than the mass it's got better smoke than the mass but the mass is slightly quicker slightly more agile and also has the speed boost consumable and if you compare this head head with the z39 so the z39 does have more hit points but its guns do for all intensive purposes about 60% of the damage of the 35 so the 35 guns are much much better you do have slightly more damage with the torps but obviously the z35 beats them all with that extra half a kilometer of torpedo range on there and uh yeah that's about it that kind of covers it so that looks at my can commander build that looks at the ship itself so let's jump in and uh and have a look at some gameplay and with the magic of editing, boom, here we are. We have jumped directly into some gameplay. Uh, this was actually my uh, very first game. 
uh, in the Z35. Uh, having played, you know, some German destroyers, <laughs> not that I've spent a particularly large amount of time playing the German DDs in all fairness, um, you know, it was it, it it was fairly easy to jump into. If you've played the Z23 or you've been playing the Mass, you, you'll be pretty accustomed to how to play this ship. There's, you know, there's nothing massively different uh, between them, uh, taking into consideration, all right, this has slightly better sonar, slightly better smoke, but doesn't have the speed boost. Apart from that, the, the general gameplay is, is good. And in all fairness, thinking about it, you know, if you're, you're debating buying this ship or not, it's not special. It's not like the T-61 at tier 5, where the T-61 genuinely feels like a DD that you need to have, um, particularly for, for things like Ranked and Arena. It is very powerful. Um, wouldn't, don't know if I'd say it's overpowered, but it is definitely very powerful. As you can tell there, you could see it's my first match. I hadn't even changed it to narrow spread torpedoes yet. So, uh, yeah. Um, so this is this is definitely more of a, if you really like your German DDs, uh, you want a credit maker and you're not happy or don't like, I'm not interested in the Z39. Uh, this is this is definitely a boat that uh, that you might want to consider. So I'm looking. I'm firing some speculative torps uh, into the sea cap. They're, they're probably going to do nothing. But if it deters someone, it deters someone. So uh, it's nothing but uh, nothing but good things. Now the cap is clearly being taken. Um, I don't know if anyone was paying attention at the start, but. Uh, yeah, RDD that just died. He spawned next to me, although he did he did kill someone else. Um, the uh, he seemed to be of. Oh no, he's with me. That's our other DD. He looked like he was turning for B, so I ignored B and I was like, "Why? Well, let's get over to C." And well, here we are. We're in a bit of a gunfight with a mass, and well, he's doing a bit like this is this is probably exactly what you'd expect against a mass. There's a uh, you know. It's a bit of a firefight going on, and not really, no one really getting much of an advantage. Granted, taking account, this is my first time out in the ship. I've never played it before, so it is, in all fairness, fairly new to me. Um, the Kagero is doing his damnedest to torp the mass. Um, but let's be honest, it's a mass, he's got sonar, he would have popped his sonar, so firing torpedoes at him. It's not going to do anything unless he's a complete fool, hasn't used his sonar, and it's like, I, I set my smoke, I'm not sitting in there, I'm not going to wait for more torpedoes to arrive. Uh, so I am playing a bit on the, the tentative side, it's not my usual uh, aggressive play style, that's for sure. Uh, and that's, that's purely down to, you know, I don't play much of the German DDs, and also... I've never played this ship before, so we're just trying to uh, we're just trying to slowly figure out uh, what what's going on with it, how it handles, how quick is it, how does it feel? Like when you tr you, you know you get a feeling with the ship, don't you? You get a feeling with it, and, and once you've got the feel for it, you know you can you can start rocking the uh, the amazing gameplays. I'll be honest with you, it, this one definitely doesn't end badly for me. Uh, it's not the the biggest barn burner, but. You know, I wanted to get this out before anyone, you know, either 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 correctly bought or wasted money buying it if it wasn't exactly what they were uh, what they were expecting. So we score our first torpedo hit, uh, and we get a bit of flood in, which is nice on that uh, on that poor old Bismarck there. Uh, we've also set a set of torpedoes off towards that Richelieu, and uh, unfortunately, that's the end of our flooding damage because that Bismarck got himself killed. Uh, so we are being cautious because there's a couple of DDs, or, uh, there's a couple of cruisers around here as well. Uh, we score a nice couple of uh, couple of torpedoes with flooding on the uh, on the Richelieu, but he's put them out. So there's a Suzuya year, there's a Cleveland year, but I noticed the Richelieu's, at least the Richelieu's guns weren't pointing this way. So I was like, right, okay. So we've only got a six percent fire chance for these guns, but. He clearly just damage con, so if I can get a fire or two, that's only going to be a it's only going to be a good thing. It's only going to be positives. Uh, so we're 
are still firing away. Fortunately, Suzuya, who's 13 kilometers out, is just completely ignoring us. The Rishiri is completely ignoring us. And there we go, we actually managed to get a fire set. And whilst everything's ignoring me, I'm gonna continue to fire at him and try and uh, try and start a second one. And there it is, there's fire number two. And uh, we're doing all right. We're already up to uh, up to 43,000 damage, 44,000, I'm lying, 45,000 damage. It's just going to keep on ticking up. Uh, we fire a set of torps, and I'm feeling like I've pushed my luck a bit too much here. So I'm looking to uh, to disengage. So I stop firing. And uh, yeah, there's a DD closing in. There's two DDs closing in, actually. There's that other cruiser, and uh, well, the Rishlu gets killed. Uh, he gets taken out by Torps and, uh, and puts us up to 50,000 damage uh, so far. So, we're doing all right. Uh, I, I, I want to fight that mass, if I'm honest with you, but Arjon Part seems determined to uh, to commit death by Torpedo. And, uh, oh, there is also... Right, okay, well, this is going to test out your guns, isn't it? Like, how can you fare against an Akatsuki, a tier 7 gunboat DD, you know, like, it's basically designed to hunt you and to absolutely melt you into oblivion. Uh, he's firing Heichi. Lucky for me, really, that he's a bit of a noob. Uh, he is firing up his smoke screen. He is within his smoke. And we should for any eh, there we go we've now gone undetected so we're going to slow down to dodge torps and fire up our hydroacoustic and of course he's within range of our hydroacoustic because we have that five kilometer hydro and well there's his torps there are those <laughs> there are those torps that we expect and look we've just we've just absolutely shredded him having that uh, having that hydro whilst he used his smoke even saving our smoke uh we managed to uh you know you we took a hurt in and yes we probably benefited from the fact that he didn't really seem to know what he was doing which did of course make life a bit easier for us if he was firing armor piercing we would have had to have angled more um or quite possibly he would have he would have finished us off uh, a bit quicker so we're just gonna just gonna carry on wheeling away with uh, with our guns there's uh, the enemy Atargo obviously he's a big threat to us we do have some support by a cruiser who's been hiding behind a rock the entire game but you know we do we do what we can with what we're given <laughs> I don't think that cruiser's particularly being much help he is uh, he is firing away at him uh, but we just keep for some unknown reason, 6% six, six fire chance, we keep on sending the Satago a light. And we seem to be having, you know, a relatively, uh, relatively decent amount of success. So he's given us a full broadside. Uh, so we have switched to armor piercing. He's given us full broadside whilst trying to dodge that the, uh, the other DD's torps. You can see the other DD's keeping well out of this battle. And, you know, we've done all right. What's that? Uh, 14k about the 15 15,000 damage to this Otago so we've taken over half of his hit points uh, there his his torpedoes are coming in to get us we are now open and exposed but well this Otago is not going to live long and finally finally from behind the island the cut is off puts in the uh, the killing blow removing the Otago and uh, and getting rid of that threat um, obviously, you can see that this has gone. This is this game hasn't gone particularly well for, for either team. Uh, it was actually uh, starting to look like it was going to be a, a real close battle, and all that's left is this Colorado. And uh, so the Kutch is off, doing Kutch is off things, sitting behind the island where he spawned, pretty much firing away. So he's probably going to do. He's probably going to do well. He's probably going to have a decent amount of damage. Um, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, but it's just hitchy spamming, isn't it? It's, it's kind of, it's kind of the meta at the moment. Sit back behind an island and fire hitchy. 
Uh, but we're going to gain a bunch of experience because obviously all that damage that he's gone and caused is all going to be from, uh, well, primarily from our spot. And there is another cruiser, another cruiser, another destroyer over here that's, uh, that's been getting involved. And yeah, this Colorado is pretty much done for. Um, we're going to... We're going to fire a couple of salvos just see if we can get a fire and secure his death a bit quicker. But uh, I think it might have been the Kutcher's off again that actually finished him off. And there we go. That's our first game in uh, in the Z35. And ooh, congratulations, milestone complete. Uh, there we go. So decent credits, almost half a million credits, 2300 base XP with one kill and... Uh, well, there's not much else to really say on the on the ship, so uh, I hope this gives you a good review of it. I'm sorry if it's not as good uh, or as different as you were expecting, but you know, hey, uh, we work with what we're given. So good credit maker, uh, good at exp. Yeah, it's good credit maker. If you like your German DDs, you're quite comfortable with the Z series and the mass, then definitely worth considering but i do hope you enjoyed this video and of course until next time take care